Good morning, dear students. This is the continuation of Chapter Two, Chemical Bonding, that we were doing in our class. There are three types of chemical bonds: ionic or electrovalent bonds, covalent bonds, and coordinate bonds. Regarding this ionic or electrovalent bond, we have already done in class. This bond is formed between metal and non-metal. Non-metal by the transfer of electrons, because metal has the tendency to lose electrons, and non-metal has the tendency to gain electrons. And this covalent bond is also done in the class. Covalent bond is formed between non-metal and a non-metal. Non-metal and a non-metal because they cannot lose electrons. Both of them have the tendency to gain electrons, so they complete their stable electronic configuration by the share by sharing a pair of electrons, and this will be mutual sharing. This will be mutual sharing. Now let me tell you what is a coordinate bond. The bond formed between two atoms by sharing a pair of electrons provided entirely by one of the combining atoms but shared by both is called co coordinate bond. Hydronium ion and ammonium ion has this coordinate bond. Now, what are the conditions required for the formation of a coordinate bond? Let me write for the formation of for the formation of a coordinate bond. Number one is. Number one is atom with at least one lone pair of electrons. One lone pair of electrons. Example water. Number two. Six 
valence electrons and hydrogen has one valence electron now this this hydrogen is sharing one electron with oxygen and this oxygen atom is sharing this electron with hydrogen as a result hydrogen is completing its duplet and this hydrogen is also completing its duplet and if we count then oxygen is completing its octet 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 that means your oxygen is completing its octet and your hydrogen is completing its duplet in this way they are stable so what we can see here in water is now hydrogen is forming a bond with oxygen and another hydrogen is also forming a bond with oxygen so these bonds are covalent bonds covalent bonds as we have already done in class and this oxygen is left with left with two lone pairs okay two pair of electrons which are not taking part in bond formation that means they are not shared so this unshared these unshared pair of electrons are called lone pairs lone pairs these unshared pair of electrons are called lone pairs and this shared pair here this is a shared pair and this is, this is a shared pair and they are also called they are also called as bonding pairs because they are forming bond between hydrogen and oxygen and it is mutually shared between hydrogen and oxygen the unshared pair is lone pairs now you can see that water molecule has two lone pairs so one of the condition that we need for forming a coordinate bond is atom having at least one lone pair of electrons and water has two lone pairs of electrons now again if we see hydrogen ion where acid combines with water when acid is dissolved in water acid in water acid in water now acid for example we can take HCl we can take HCl when HCl dissolves in water when HCl dissolves in water it forms H plus ion plus Cl minus this H plus is hydrogen ion hydrogen ion now this hydrogen ion is unstable it cannot exist independently so it has it has to combine with water to form a stable compound now this is this is not stable means it needs two more electrons to be stable that means in order to complete its duplet in order to complete its duplet it needs two more electrons so the, that means what we have seen here is hydrogen is short of a pair of electrons so this is our second condition to form a coordinate bone so one condition that we have is atom having at least one lone pair of electron that is there in water molecule and one atom short of a lone pair of electrons that is there in hydrogen ion so this water molecule water molecule and hydrogen ion can form hydronium ion 
Let's see in detail. Now water is formed by two shaped pair of electrons two shaped pair of electrons this, these are the shaped pair shared pair because these are mutually shared between hydrogen and oxygen hydrogen giving one electron oxygen giving one electron for the formation of this particular bond as a result this is also called covalent bond but here we can see oxygen has two pair of electrons left and these two pair of electrons are lone pairs lone pair so when this water combines with hydrogen ion hydrogen ion which is short of a pair of electron it forms hydronium ion Hydronium ion. Now we can see here, hydro, this is shared pair of electron, this is also shared pair of electron, they are mutually same. But here, oxygen is providing this pair of electron entirely to hydrogen and, but this pair of electron is shared between both oxygen and hydrogen. Let me tell you this lone pair of electron is given by oxygen only hydrogen has not given that means contribution is totally from oxygen at all as a result here we can say oxygen is donor and hydrogen is acceptor let's see a different figure We can see here this board. This board has two electrons, two electrons, one from hydrogen, one from oxygen. This also has two electrons, one from hydrogen, one from oxygen. So this is mutually same. And these are covalent bonds. These are covalent bonds. Covalent bond. But here if you see, here are two types of bone we can see. One is covalent bone and one is this bone. So how is this bone formed? Both the electrons are provided by oxygen atom but shared by both. So this bone is coordinate bone. Coordinate bone. coordinate bone. Here oxygen is donor because it is donating both the electrons for the formation of this bone and hydrogen is acceptor because hydrogen is accepting only. Hydrogen is accepting only. So here we can make it oxygen has a lone pair of electron which is which it is sharing with hydrogen ion. So in this way, hydrogen is completing its duplet. And hydrogen here can be said as acceptor because it is accepting only. It has no contribution for the formation of bone. Simply it is sharing the pair of electrons. And oxygen is called donor. Oxygen is called donor.
Similarly, similarly in ammonia molecule, we know that uh, ammonia molecule formula for the ammonia molecule is an H3. Here, one atom of nitrogen is there and three atoms of hydrogen are there. If we see atomic number of nitrogen, that is seven. Seven. And its electronic configuration is two comma five. If we look at the atomic structure of nitrogen, it is like this. Means it has five electrons in the valence shell. To complete its octet, it needs three more electrons. Similarly, if we see hydrogen atom, its atomic number is one. Its electronic configuration is one, and it has one valence electron which can be shown by cross, which can be shown by cross. Which can be shown by a cross. Now in ammonia there are three hydrogen atoms and one nitrogen atom. So we can show molecular formula of ammonia in its dot diagram like this. Nitrogen having five electrons. Can combine with three hydrogen atoms to complete its octet. As a result, hydrogen, each hydrogen is also completing its duplet. Duplet. So here we can see hydrogen is giving one electron, nitrogen is also giving one electron and forming a bone. This is this is shape pair. This is shape pair. Shape pair. And what we can see here is this is left to be two electrons which is not forming bone with any other atom, which are left alone, which are unshared, and this unshared pair of electron is lone pair. Lone pair. This unshared pair of electron is lone pair, which is one of the condition for forming a coordinate bone. So, what is one of the condition for forming a bone? Atom with at least one lone pair of electrons. And ammonia has one lone pair of electrons. This is ammonia molecule. Ammonia molecule. Ammonia molecule. Now, one condition is one condition is an atom should have one lone pair of electrons, and another is another is hydrogen. can combine with this hydrogen ion 
can combine with this hydrogen ion to form ammonium ion to form ammonium ion In this way, ammonia can combine with the hydrogen ion to form ammonium ion. This is ammonium ion. Ammonium ion. Here again, if we see, there are two types of sharing. One. One is mutual sharing, that means uh, one electron of this bond is uh, contributed by hydrogen, one by nitrogen, so this is mutual sharing and the bond formed will be covalent bond. Here again if we see, hydrogen is not sharing. The contribution of hydrogen to this bond is nil, but nitrogen is only giving this pair of electrons for the formation of bond, hence this bond is a coordinate bond. We can see it in this way. We can see here nitrogen is having three covalent bonds. Three covalent bonds. And let's see here. This nitrogen is providing lone pair of electrons for the formation of this bond and here in these three cases we can see they have shared one electron each that is mutually shared between nitrogen and hydrogen and as a result they are forming covalent bonds but here if we see nitrogen is only giving both the electrons for the formation of bond hydrogen is simply accepting as a result, nitrogen is a donor because it is donating both of its electrons, both the lone, lone pair of its lone pair and hydrogen is accepting the lone pair for the formation of the bond. As a result, hydrogen is acceptor. Now, why this is a coordinate bond and why this is a covalent bond? Here, both the electrons are donated by the nitrogen atom and hydrogen has simply accepted it but it is shared between both. In this case, one, one electron is contributed by hydrogen, one electron is contributed by nitrogen. As a result, this bond is formed by mutual sharing of electrons, so this is a covalent bond. Finally, when this is formed, all the NH bonds, all the NH bonds are identical. So, we cannot say which of the bond, which of the bond is a coordinate or which is covalent because none of these bonds are actually imaginary. They are the force of attraction only. So they, all these NH bonds are identical and this charge will be written in the, this charge will be written as a whole outside the ion. So this is the formula for ammonium ion. Ammonium ion. Recapitulation of today's lesson. There are three types of chemical bonds. Ionic or electrovalent bond, covalent bond and coordinate bond. Ionic or electrovalent bond is formed between metal and non-metal. Covalent bond is formed between non-metal and a non-metal. Coordinate bond or dative bond we have already done. Now you must be thinking what is dative bond. So a coordinate bond has both the properties of a covalent bond as well as ionic bond. Hence it is also called dative bond. Now let me brief you about lone pair of electrons. An atom having unshared pair of electrons is called lone pair of electrons. My dear students, I have uh, given you homework and you just go through this lesson and try to do this homework. Hope you
you can do it. Thank you.